on the with you. Uh, today we are going to talk about um, evacuated tube solar collector uh, for uh, steam generation attached with a st uh, storage uh, element and um, a photovoltaic system for power gen generation. You have to specify your folder. Okay, this is my working folder. I have to go here and select my working folder. Okay, this is my working folder. And then I have to sort by name. Uh, okay, clicking here and sort my name and uh, group by type, and you'll find you, uh, your model here. You just double clicking. Uh, okay, this is our main model. It's uh, evacuated tube solar collector. Um, we have to calculate. It's a design model, so we, we need to uh, discover what is your uh, mean pellet area, what is your total area, uh, mean pellet temperature, overall if losses efficiency. Okay, and uh, the system containing. Uh, evacuated tube collector, uh, PCM storage, uh, oil bomb because there is uh, oil in uh, the system, flash evaporation tank for steam generation and uh, bombing uh, unit for water cycle. As you can see here, uh, this, this is your uh, oil cycle and this is your uh, steam uh, generation cycle. We have to utilizing uh, the, uh, the thermal power from the evacuated tube uh, solar collector in order to generate steam via uh, storage heat exchanger unit. Um, uh, the steam should be generated via flash evaporation tank. Okay, and um, so we have here, this is our main system. Okay, you can run it in dynamic mode or uh, zero time domain. So. We have to specify our uh, uh, the parameters. Let's begin from uh, um, uh, evacuated tube collector. This is your evacuated tube collector. We can assign our solar radiation, control our solar radiation, ambient temperature, what is your desired outlet temperature. Um, okay. And we have three main types of evacuated tube collectors. There is one from uh, up to uh, one uh, 165 degrees Celsius and another the second type is it's between uh, uh, or are no more than 200 and the third one is almost uh, 250 let's go for the third one okay and I hit apply I specified my uh, my my uh, inputs for evacuated tube cooler so let's go for uh, storage element this is PCM storage and thermal heat transfer oil is is responsible for a uh, heat transferring uh, uh, the mean or heat transfer medium through the cycle uh, we have to assign temperature and temperature wind speed for losses thermal losses storage uh, temperature uh, storage temperature loss okay uh, parameter it's around uh, uh, 0.95 something like this it's um, it's it can uh, give us an indication about uh, uh, the efficiency of losing uh, the temperature from the storage tank. how much operating hours you are going to deal with a uh, tank inner diameter outer diameter uh, uh, tube inside the, the, the tank here tube inside chill diameter okay inner tube diameter okay okay heat capacity what is your heat capacity for uh, the storage medium it's about the, me uh, the medium or material of uh, the PCM storage uh, and, the, and the same for uh, density thermal conductivity is the same and uh, uh, effectiveness what is your effectiveness okay let's go for uh, the bomb this is your pump oil bomb you can assign as as I think temperature and uh, efficiency for uh, flash evaporation tank we have to assign what is your uh, uh, condensation pressure or lower pressure and steam velocity and uh, steam mass flow rate what is your steam mass flow rate you are going to uh, deal with in, uh, in this cycle and for photovoltaic we have to choose between uh, watt per meter square or kilowatt hour per meter square so I uh, I do prefer what per meter square and let's go here inside okay this is uh, what per meter square you can assign we demonstrated that before uh, what is your operating hour okay and uh, uh, what is your flux or solar radiation okay design 
uh, module power you can you have to choose your module power battery dips battery efficiency of your battery and cost of your batteries okay so we uh, we, we prepared everything now we have to uh, uh, save our module and we have to uh, make our run okay um, as you can see here we, are, we have to wait for a while okay as you can see uh, for under uh, these specific specifications that we have uh, entered to our model uh, we have to consume a, a around a kilowatt uh, uh, kilowatt hour for bombing power in order to generate one kilogram per second of steam okay let's go inside and see for one kilogram per second okay this is your total uh, solar field area okay efficiency this is your efficiency uh, okay okay and um, reversibility rate okay exergy total exergy in and exergy out okay for uh, pcm storage uh, it's so many many parameters like storage medium storage volume uh, height of your storage mass uh, mass flow rate through the solar field um uh, and be, uh, outlet outlet water in Salby and outlet water temperature okay and it's all outlet to the uh, to the uh, um, uh, outlet oh, this is for um oil in Salby outlet and this is oil in, uh, in Salby temperature and we have here oil pressure okay and thermal load okay thermal storage uh, thermal losses so it was a storage and uh, collected thermal power area of the tubes the tube uh, lens and number of tubes for uh, uh, pumping power this is your uh, heat transfer oil pump so we have to consume around uh, three kilowatt of power and for flash evaporation um, uh, we have to uh, uh, this is in the tube uh, cross section area uh, out the tube section area uh, diameter of the tank tank height uh, tank um, mass flow rate to the tank uh, water mass uh, condensed mass flow rate dryness fraction this is your dryness fraction you can control this and your physical properties of course pressure temperature entropy and so on this is power from the um, a water pump it's around five kilowatt and for photovoltaic we need uh, for eight kilowatt we need around 32 modules with um, uh, with around uh, 50 or 58 uh, square meter okay and this is your open circuit voltage short circuit current and maximum voltage and current module efficiency uh, and so on so we have here this is your uh, this is our uh, system it's simple and uh, it's for design mode so you can uh, design your system in um, if you intended to generate a, a, a steam via um, uh, evacuated tube collector cycle and the power generation from um, uh, for the pumps it should be uh, responsible from uh, 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 photovoltaic uh, modules you can run this um, in dynamic mode okay you can run this in dynamic mode by setting your simulation time into infinity and you can run that's that's it run and see if we made uh, some changes that's it run and see suppose this is our main time suppose i'm going here let's go and trying to increase our steam steam mass flow rate okay and uh, condenser pressure that's uh increase our condenser pressure for y and i'm going to tr to increase outlet temperature of the solar field let's go and increase outlet temperature okay okay that's enough for now hitting stop and you can go here you will find your results but you have to go to signal builder i'm sorry uh, data inspector okay and you can easily discover some output this is your uh, solar field area fluctuating efficiency and uh, reversibility rate uh, collector exchange efficiency 
uh, exchange and uh, bombing power as you can see here so finally i i would like to thank you very much for your uh, interesting in our model don't forget to uh, like share and uh, subscribe uh, thank you very much